Hello, people. <laughs> How's it going? I've found something. So, the humble bundle jingle jam yogs cast thing. I got it, and I was looking through the games, and I was like, "Yeah, meh, meh, not interesting to me. No, this one, this one, no, no, no. Ooh, what's this one? It looked very nice." Looked very beautiful, looked meditative, just calming. I installed it, played a few levels, and I decided <laughs> this is something that you need to see. You need to see this because it it's great. <laughs> it's really good. Um, and it runs perfectly in Linux using Proton. So that's always good. Wait, no. Ah, oh, I've gone to um, level three. <laughs> I'll, I'll go back and show you the uh, the first levels in a second after I've done this. Ooh. I mean, look at it. <laughs> it's so good. It's like it's like a Minecrafty kind of look, but instead of everything being squares, everything is triangles. And, um... Oh, it's so good. It's made by someone called Emma Franklin. And... It's just... It's just good. The difficulty levels are a bit... extreme. <laughs> I'm playing it on very easy right now, because even easy is difficult um I just look oh just look at this <laughs> I feel so calm right now so just just nice yeah a glider's journey it's it's really good. <laughs> it's just nice. Music is nice. It's appropriate music for the thing. Oh, what, where was that arrow pointing? Oh, no, here we go. My wings are green. That means I got them all. Landing feels really good. <laughs> it feels really good when you land. All right. Okay, so I'll go back and show the, uh, the first few levels. Alright, here we go. Uh, I was getting a little bit of stuttering until I went into the launch commands uh, in Steam. I put on... Uh, I disabled eSync and I enabled the... Valve uh, Mesa add-on, which does something to the shader compilation or something. Oh, I missed one. Start again. So th this isn't a Linux game. This is a Windows game, but it runs perfectly with Proton. Steam controller is just working exactly as it should. It's great. Ah, I see. So you get a little bit more red. The more, the more that you get, the more of these hexagons. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, hex. Um, <laughs> look at it though. It's so nice. Like, the only negative reviews in the Steam store for this are basically just. Yeah, it's too hard. <laughs> Which, yeah, I can see that. It's I, on anything but very easy. The difficulty is just I intense. But um, on very easy, it's just <laughs> meditative almost. Like you still have to be Conscious that you're still going to be very aware of what's happening, but you can still 
kind of chill at the same time? I don't know. <laughs> I just, I just really like it. Boom, green time. Good enough. So it's building the Unreal Engine, which probably yeah, explains why it runs so well on Linux. Um, a native binary would be good, but doesn't really need it. It runs fine in Proton. And uh, <laughs> I don't even want to commentate. I just want to chill and play it. But, you know, I've got to make a video, so I need to say things. <laughs> so I will. <laughs> but... That's, that's the feeling that you get from this. Is, um... Is of not wanting to say things. Is of wanting to chill. <laughs> the music's really nice. Mastered well. Uh, the default volume is very, very low. So you'll almost definitely want to pump up the volume quite a bit. I just put everything on maximum. Um, oh, the floating islands. It's like a sonic kind of thing. It's just... Oh. <laughs> it's so... it's good. It's so much more than I was expecting. I was expecting not much at all. But the simplicity and beauty of it just... it just... It does it for me. Oh, just barely. <sighs> Breathe. Very nice. Ooh. Oh. It's I, <laughs> difficult to explain. You you just need to try it out. Oh, it's this level again. I'll do it again. Whatever. You've seen it before, but you're seeing it again now because I want to do it again. <laughs> so that's what's up. There's a uh, uh, there's a guy uh, Esteban who makes drones that are very similar to this, and uh, I, I'm sure he would be real keen on this game. This is the kind of stuff that he does in real life. <laughs> Should that uh, check that guy out too? I'll probably put a link. Uh, Esteban FPV. He does like cool time lapses and stuff of things. And uh, like drone flight. Just, I mean... <laughs> I can't explain it. I can't explain why this is so good. I, I so much wish I had have been recording when I tested this out initially because my reactions would have uh... oh no no oh, can I get back up can I get back up oh steam's finished downloading something apparently <laughs> all right let's go again Look at that grass. It's like French fries. <laughs> it's great. I think my favorite thing is the water though. The water is so calm. I <laughs> is zen. This this is 
Zen. The person who made this understands Zen intuitively. They have they have an intuitive understanding of, of Zen. What it means to be. Just be. It, in a lot of games, I, I stop breathing. Just from tense, being tense, you know? This game encourages me to breathe. I feel like breathing. I can fix this. No! No, stop, stop. <sighs> I did it before. Now I can't do it again. It's very precise what you have to do you have to <laughs> it's like the game encourages you to <laughs> it encourages you to become meditative and you have to fight that instinct in order to pre-plan what you're going to do it's I don't know it, <laughs> it's something probably romanticizing it a bit but uh Look, it deserves it, okay? You see, corners like that have to be pre-planned. Yeah, and I'm playing it with the uh, Steam controller, but I, just for the sake of comfort, but I think actually the best control method for this is a mouse. Like, I've tried all three, controller, keyboard, and mouse, and mouse seemed to be the best. I, I, I can't quite explain why, but it felt more visceral. It felt more like I was a, a part of the machine. <laughs> it's not really a machine, really. I mean, I guess there's a jet on the back, but... I don't know. It feels it's an organic machine more than it is a mechanical one. All right, here we go. I'll be able to show you the next level now. French fry grass. All right, that's coming for a good level. I really want to get the center, which means you you kind of want to go about. Oh no, that's too early. Oh! Is that good enough? Seems, seems so. All right. Now I haven't seen this one yet. What's this one going to be like? Oh, my recording FPS is struggling a little. I may have, mm, I probably should have enabled, uh, set a cap at 30. My, uh, PC isn't doing so well at the moment. One of my RAM sticks died, so, um... Where was that pointing? Probably down here. That's my guess. If it was me, I'd put it down here. Ah! Hmm... So I guess I've got to go back around and collect that other one. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can do here. <sighs> what I would like is like a free flight mode where you just fly around and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you can anyway, really. But, uh, 
something that was specifically designed that way might be might be interesting. So I'll bank around this tree. And go back in. Okay. Oh, that's a gem. Cool. I was wondering what that little nodule was. Yeah, there's another one. Pentagon gem. Everything is shapes. <laughs> Everything is shapes. <laughs> okay. Not a not uh, not the most explanatory thing in the world, but uh, I said it. Ah, oh, they look like honeycombs. Honeycomb gems. They look like lollies. They look like hard candy. Ah, oh, got there. Bling. And then the green. Okay, so I think basically you want to stop about here. Oh, no, I went over. Oh, well, I think that's fine. As long as I'm on the platform, it's okay. You see it's glowing there, so I've successfully landed. <gasps> what is this? <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm gonna have to come around for another pass. I like this environment too. I'll go through the arch. Alright. We're in there now. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. Ah, uh, yeah, it's showing you which way you should be righted. You almost always want to be exactly where that arrow says. Yeah, pretty much. Oh. Oh, okay, we're okay. No, we're not okay. We're okay again. Okay. We in there. Oh, I've got to go through that statue later. Cool. I have trouble with that. <laughs> it's highly skill-based. And it's a matter of very fine movements. <laughs> I'm moving my head to... It's like playing a driving game. I'm, I'm still... I still move my body to try and move the, the thing. It's a nice statue there. Alright, we're all good. Oh, this is going to be a 
perfect. Oh! No. No, no. Is that good enough? I touched it. Apparently it's good enough. I was gonna say, if, if I had to do all that again, I would have been upset. <laughs> so it, it's lenient at the ending parts, so that's nice. I wonder what door he used for this. Or if it's just all recorded kind of thing. Well, you've got to use a door at some point. I mean, D-A-W, I don't know how to pronounce that. Which digital audio workstation he used. I think it was a, uh, a female developer and a male uh, musician. Basically just a two-person team. The amount of stuff you can do in the Unreal Engine with just one person, basically, is... It's pretty intense. It's a good engine. Oh, I like this bridge coming up. Hmm, I like it when they're low down. These, uh, things. When they're near to the ground. It feels nicer flying closer to the ground. Look at the water! Oh, tiny trees. Alright. Just barely. Oh no, I'm gonna miss that one. Oh, that looked cool. A moving one. Oh, it's a s island snake. I'm going to follow the path even though I don't have to. And then... Ah, not the best landing of all time, but I touched it, which means I'm all good, right? Please? <laughs> Alright, I'll do one more level and then I've got to uh, go get some nourishment into my body. And then later on I may do, I may do a few more levels. I like this song the best so far. That extra percussion really, really works. Uh, do I have to get both of those? Whoa, what happened? What's happening now? There's like a hundred of them. I was going to say 14 for some reason, but... There's more than 14. What happened there? <laughs> Was that supposed to happen? <laughs> Alright. Oh, because, I mean, it, it expects you to turn around. 
because you have to get more than one there, so I guess, yeah, okay. Oh, they're everywhere. Alright, so I'll hit this one this time. It'll be about over here. Um, I'll just get a few more of these. And then turn. Ah, oh, I thought I might get that. Ah, uh, so you only need one of the two. Interesting. So that there must be for later on. The island snakes are cool. I like them. Oh, I'm going to have to go around again. Whoa. So one or the other? Interesting. Oh, and you only need one of the three now. Huh. So I missed one back there. Pretty sure. Dear. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. No! 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 Ah. <sighs> I don't feel so frustrated having to start again because it looks so nice. <laughs> and I know that it was my own fault. <laughs> Not the game's fault, kind of thing. I really like going close to the ground. Or the water, or wherever. Low elevation flying is... or gliding. It's a powered glider. Not the intended way of doing that, but it worked. All right. Yeah, this song's good. I like this one. That extra crunch percussion really, really does it. Again? Can I recover? No. This one is very difficult, this one. This whole game is difficult. But, uh, I don't know. I'm not... I'm not upset by that. I get to hear this percussion come in again. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just like it. That's bad. Ugh. We're in there. No, we're not. Okay, it's okay. I wonder if the OST is available separately. It's like some games do that where you could buy the game and you can buy the soundtrack separately kind of thing. If that's not the case here then it should be. Each aspect of the game stands on its own as a piece of art, you know? 
This, and this definitely is an art game, not just a game kind of thing. Alright. I'm trying to rush too much. I need to just... I need to do what the game is trying to teach me and be calm. Like, if you're going to miss one, don't try hard to get it. Just come back for another pass. You can't force it. You can't force this. I messed up there again. Okay, well I'll get this one while I'm going there. What does that mean? Very far up. Hmm. Some of these are orange. I think that means to increase elevation a lot. Oh, almost done. Just one more, I think. Two. Three. How much, how far does the red go? Green? What? But there's one more. Wait, what? <laughs> the game thought I was finished there for a second. Here we go. Why aren't I green now? Did I miss something? I think that's just a bug. It thought I was finished when I wasn't. And so it's not giving me the finish um, greenness now. Hopefully that's all of them, because I'm going to go land. I'm okay with free flying for a bit though. Dangerous, but... I think we'll be okay. Ah, oh, the, the platform's green. I think the platform wouldn't be green if I wasn't ready to go. Oop, New Year's fireworks going off. In the background. Boom. Eh. Tried to use a shortcut? No, actually. Wait, what? I was missing one. <laughs> what? Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. I'm pretty sure I got them all. I think that's a bug. I'll try one more time and then that's all I'm gonna do. I think I saw somebody in the Steam, um, 
discussions reviews thing saying that uh, one of the levels was bugged so I think uh, I think they may be right because that should have been all of them <laughs> okay well I missed that one I'll have to go back that was satisfying Just one more try. One more. Okay. Probably not in frame. <laughs> Need to move over a little. Oh no, I'm in frame. Just barely. Okay, yeah, that one's very difficult. I need to pay more attention to the arrows. I haven't been paying enough attention to these arrows. Maybe it's a problem of not getting them in the right order. And then that causes that bug. I'm not going for that. <laughs> I already messed it up. I'll go back for the others. Or maybe I... Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> what I would like is some um, cheat codes maybe. Like to skip uh, level or just to unlock all of the levels. What's... where am I here? What... I'm just going to have a little scout around to see if there are any more that I've missed. I'm okay. I should I should be able to keep going. I was fine. I could have kept going. <laughs> the difficulty of this game. This is on very easy difficulty. Like, are there any other buttons? Like, can I sl is there a button to slow down or something? I don't think, none of the other buttons seem to be doing anything. Oh wait, something happened. Ah, ah, because Steam Controller, mouse. I pressed the, uh, the mouse thingy. Touchpad. Ugh, those firework explosions are very loud. What is it, uh, 12 o'clock is it? Hmm, happy new year. Fireworks are 10 minutes late. <laughs> it's actually 12.10. Like, why aren't you out there looking at the fireworks? It's like, well, look, I've seen fireworks before, and there's a literal fire happening in Australia right now, and I really don't think it's necessary for us to be having fireworks right now and spending $16 million on them when the, that money could be better spent going to uh, affordable housing for low-income people. Like, 
I really don't think fireworks are a good idea anymore. We've got virtual reality and stuff. You can just look at fireworks in virtual reality. It's really unnecessary. <laughs> I'm really, I'm like angry about it. I'm not angry about it. I just, that's just not my thing. Not for me. It's not. I mean, there's so many dogs in this town and they get freaked out about the fireworks and stuff. It's not a good town for it. Like, maybe if we were in a city where there's not really... where the dogs are kept inside, generally, because people don't have backyards. But this isn't a city, this is a town. We shouldn't really have fireworks in a town of a population of... Well, actually, I think we are a city, technically. Just barely. I think you need to have, um... Something like 10,000 people to be a city. And we're just barely over that, I think. But, you know, technically a city and actually a city are two very different things. This is my little rant. <laughs> yeah, like... That's, uh, I think it's Sydney or, uh, yeah, Sydney Arbor Bridge. That's where they're doing the $16 million fireworks. And the lady, um, the mayor of the city or whatever, had to defend her use of fireworks. She actually had to come out and say, look, I know that everybody's on fire and that, like, people have lost their lives trying to fight the fire and millions of dollars of property damage but we're still going to have fireworks because it gives people hope or something i'm like what <laughs> it, gives, it gives people what no <laughs> no you just you just don't want to upset people that's why you're, you're doing it whereas you could make a stand for the environment and actually you know do something and it might lose you some votes Sometimes you gotta do that. I mean, are you really expecting to get into power again? You're not, like, democracy exists and, you know, usually things go back and forth quite often. Power changes hands quite often. Do you really have to win again every time? I don't know what I'm talking about now. I'm trying, I'm busy flying through hexagons, okay? Like, did I miss any back here? Like, the thing is... Is that that bug with the, the wings going green really throws me off. I think, oh, I'm done, or I'm not done, or... You know. There's at least one more, because I, I saw it earlier. I'm pretty sure. I looked there already. I'll just go up really high and then I should be able to see. Is there a height limit? So I could just dive down and I can see everything. Oh, was there one down there? No. I'll just keep going up. I mean, there must be a height limit at some point. I'm not seeing any more. Go up a bit higher. I don't think I even really increased altitude that much there. Well, look, if there's no more, I'm just going to go try and land again and see what happens. Like, I understand that they want to have a minimalist design, like with no GUI, but maybe 
maybe one like those blue wingtips could uh, could indicate the direction of the next closest one the next closest hexagon well I'm gonna land and I'm gonna finish the video because I can't find any more and if it says no then it says no and that's just how it is All right. Well, that's this video anyway. Yeah, I think it's. I think that's a bug. Oh. Well. I'll. Uh, I'll try and get in touch and see what they say about it. I mean, it's a good game, but uh, it seems that maybe there's an issue with uh, this level here. I will get back to you on on this one and I'll let you know how it goes I don't know anyway <laughs> I hope that you have a good day peace